going on, Merc fam? In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the brand new trailer that was released for Venom, Let There Be Carnage. I've been waiting a long time for this trailer to come out, and I'm waiting even longer for the movie to drop. But look, before we get into that, I want to make sure that everybody likes, subscribes, and go ahead, tap that notification bell one time for your boy. I just want to make sure that everything I post, you are aware of, all right? Now, without further ado, let's jump into this Venom review. All right, Merc fam, you already know the drill. I have not watched this trailer yet, but I've heard nothing but great things about it. Let's talk a little bit about the first Venom before we jump into this preview, though. So the first Venom, it really wasn't too bad. There were a lot of bad things about the movie, but overall, I had a good experience during the film. If I would have been doing reviews during that time period, I absolutely would have reviewed Venom. One thing that I thought was very cool about that first Venom movie was the way Brock was getting to know the symbiote and vice versa. See, in the cartoons, whoever the symbiote attached himself to, like, essentially, he would be bringing out the evil characteristics of that person. That's why when Spider-Man put that suit on, he was doing extremely well, but the more that he had that suit on, the more angry and evil he got. So in the Venom movie, when you got to see that the symbiote was actually, like, its own being and really had his own thoughts and his own motives, I really enjoyed the fact that he had to get along with Brock. And, of course, the movie was filled with extreme action sequences, but the one thing that I really didn't like about the first Venom movie was the fact that there were other symbiotes from his planet. This is something that I've never seen or heard of. I feel they did that because they weren't able to have access to other Marvel super villains or super characters. So they more or less had to create their own lane in that Venom movie. Just for this review's sake, I would give the first Venom a 6 out of 10 because I really enjoyed the fact that they finally did a Venom rendition and maybe it didn't relate so close to the source material, but for the most part everybody loved Venom. Now with all that recap being said let's jump into this very small clip of Venom Let There Be Carnage and afterwards we'll discuss what I thought about it and hopefully you guys will agree. <laughs> I say either, you guys say either, I say neither, and I say neither, neither, either, neither, neither. Let's call the whole thing off. Ta-da! Catch up. Excuse me. Yummy. Good evening, Eddie. Hey, Mrs. Chen. Good evening, Venom. Function hi, Mrs. Chen. He says hi. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. I've been thinking about you, eh? Two can be as bad as one. It's the loneliest number. Because you and I are the same. Every decision we ever make. Who do we leave behind? And how do we leave them? Waiting in the darkness for the rescuer who never comes. Welcome back, Eddie Brock. It's been a long time. I miss you so much. All right, okay. I see what they're trying to do here. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't know all of Carnage's history, right? Like, he's not a character that I've known in the Marvel Universe so deeply, if I could say. I've played a game of Spider-Man where he was the final boss, and he literally was so hard, I don't think I ever beat that game. So, what did you guys think of this trailer? It was like two minutes long. I was hoping that it would have a little bit more explanation in it, but I love a trailer that's really fast, a lot of flash scenes so that I can't really get a grasp on what the movie's gonna be about. I mean, ultimately, it seems like the guy who plays Carnage was in prison for something and he's gonna get the death penalty, but somehow he was a part of something at some point. So for the most part, it seems like we're picking up where we left off. I noticed that the voice of Venom seems to be a little different. I know in the first movie, Tom Hardy was actually the one who voiced Venom and he's actually Brock. So not only did he play his role, but he also did the voice for Venom. But in this 
trailer, it seems like it's a different voice. I'm not going to lie. It seems a little deeper. And it looks like Brock is essentially trying to cope with the fact that he's got this crazy-ass monster-like symbiote in his body who's always hungry, who always wants to feed. And at the end of the day, we've got Carnage who's coming along, who is played by Woody Harrelson. I think one of my favorite Woody Harrelson movies has to be Zombieland when he was Tallahassee and he always wanted them, uh, what was it, them Twinkies? But I really enjoy the way they're painting him in this movie. He's definitely going to be a grand villain. Now, one of my gripes that I kind of see so far is that there's going to be a lot of shots done at night, which in my opinion, they do a lot of things like that to hide bad CGI. I kind of hope that that's not the case here. I really want the second Venom to surpass the first Venom. I really want them to do better and do a little more and tie it in. Not only is this movie in association with Marvel, but I'm hoping that it ties into future MCU movies dealing with Spidey. Wouldn't it be awesome to see the Sinister Six in the MCU and Venom and Carnage are alongside Dr. Octopus or the Lizard? I hope and pray to God that this movie does absolutely well. I'm looking forward to it. So I don't know how you guys feel about this trailer. For the most part, I'm super ecstatic. I cannot wait to watch it. But what did you guys think of this review? Did you hate it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Only way that I'm going to know is if you jump inside my comments and talk to me about this movie, man. Are y'all excited for Venom? Let there be carnage. But until next time, my folks, it's been a pleasure. It's your boy Merc, but I'm out. When I take the wheel, it's going out of control. I, I ain't got a flex, but my money swole. I'm flying real life, nigga, not just balls. Hands down. I'm the man now. You better do your research before I air it out. I'm smoking on reefer and it's very loud.